were in uh, Boolean expressions and truth tables. Being able to write the Boolean expression and completing the truth table is an important skill in troubleshooting digital systems. Um, writing Boolean expressions begins with starting at the uh, inputs and working towards the outputs. The expression used to describe the output of each gate is determined using the basic rules of logic gate expression. And so in this section, we will be uh, writing the Boolean expression. In the next section, we'll actually be completing the truth tables. So what we have here are several circuits. And these are all circuits, by the way, that come from your uh, multi-SIM package. You can pull these circuits up um, and um, activate them in multi-SIM. When you do so, uh, if you'll simply press the letter A, B, or C, you will select the logic levels that are going to these gates. But our purpose here is to determine the Boolean expression. This particular one is from circuit 15 underscore 17. So first we need to evaluate the inputs. We have input A, we have input B, and we have input C. And so A and B come into this AND gate. So we will have, out of the AND gate, we'll have AB. And then that will come into this OR gate here. And then we will, in fact, the, pro the process, as we mentioned earlier, is you start at the inputs and you move to the output. So here we have evaluated this is an input, this is an input. And they are combined at the output in this OR gate. So what we would see in the OR gate as a final output would be AB plus C. And what that means is that if we had a valid high uh, at A and B, we would get a, a output. And if we had a valid input from C, we would also get an output. That's what this expression actually means. And this represents our uh, Boolean expression for this circuit. OK, here we have another one. Uh, inputs are A. B, C, and D. So out of the AND gate here, we're going to have uh, A, B. And then the OR gate here, we are going to have, let's see, we'll have C plus D. And then these two inputs are going to be AND or NANDed together at the output. So we're going to have. Uh, a, B, and we're going to have C or D. And it is going to be inverted like so. And so we need to, uh, we, we're, as well as evaluating the expression, we also want to simplify them if it is possible. So from previous lessons, we've seen that to simplify this, we need to break um, the not symbols that cover more than one variable. So we're going to break it here, and we will break it here, and we will break it here. And so what that will give us, we'll have a not, um, and we'll have to change the uh, and to an or, b not, and then we will have, um, let's see, we will have C naught, uh, D naught, times C naught, D naught. Uh, excuse me, this, this, should, this, this should become a plus here because we're breaking. OK, sorry about that. So we'd have A naught plus B naught or with C naught. OK, let's write this out again. We'd have A naught plus B naught plus C naught, D naught. And again, if we had any of those, um, we should get an output, any of these combinations, either A naught or B naught or C naught, D naught should illuminate our light bulb. OK, next one. We have A. And let's make sure we keep this drawn. Let's see, we have a B 
that's coming in here. But now A goes to two different places, so we need to make sure we keep that straight, A, and then this would be the C input here. So let's see, we come into an inverter, so that would be A naught, and then coming into this NAND gate, we have A naught B, but since it's NANDed, that's going to uh, invert the entire uh, output. And then here we go, we have a C naught, and then in this NAND gate, we're going to have an output of A, C naught, and then that whole entire output is, is uh, inverted. And then we're going to NAND both of these together. So we would have A naught B naught ANDed with A C naught. And then we have the final inverter here, so the entire equation would be inverted. So again, we're going to need to simplify this, so we'll split it here, here, and here. And so this is going to simplify to A naught B. And then we'll put a OR symbol here, because there's only a single knot. And this would be A C naught. And so that should represent our final expression of this circuit. Okay, here we have another. Again, inputs A, B, C, and D. And A plus B here, okay, A or B. And we're going to knot it. And then down here we will have C naught. And so out of this uh, NOR gate, we'll have C naught or D. And the entire expression will be knotted. And then we'll uh, NOR them together. So we would have A plus B naught or C naught or D naught. And then we have an inverter here, so the entire equation would be knotted. So then we're going to simplify. We'll split here, here, and here. And let's see, this has got double knots on it, so this would just remain the same, A plus B. This would, uh, we have a single knot here, so this is going to change function. And this one, let's see, this has got a double knot, so we're going to retain the C knot, uh, but the, okay, plus D. And that should, res that should result in the final, let's see, you have a knot here and a double knot here, so that is, okay, and we have one knot here, okay, actually there's three knots, so we need that, okay, that should do it. So this represents our final expression of that one. Okay, here we have a, let's see, we have inputs A, B, and C. And we have, we're using a, actually this is a exclusive NOR, this is exclusive OR, but it's inverted. And so we will have A, and this is the symbol for exclusive OR, A or B but it's inverted. I'm going to put it in parentheses. And then we have C, and this would become C naught. And then they're anded together here, so we're going to have A, okay, exclusive or B, but this is going to be exclusive nor, and that's going to be anded with C naught. And then the entire equation, so since we're and, so we've got a C naught here, we've got A and B naught, and then we're anding it, and the inquire equation is going to be knotted. So as a result, this will just remain the same. We'll have A exclusive or B, um, and then C. And since they're, okay, let's see, that's going to be changed. Since there's only one here, we're going to break it here. No, we won't break that one. Um, 
uh, we'll need to break it here. And so this would become a plus. So here we would have the ultimate result here. We've had A or B or C. And we would not break this because we've got a double knot here. Okay. Final one. Here we have A, B, and C. And here, let's see, okay, we're going to have an A or B. And that's going to be uh, exclusive ORD with C. So we're going to have A or B uh, or C. And so this will just simplify to A or B or C. And let's see, we have no knots, so that should be the final expression for that one. Okay, these are a few Boolean expressions. We, we took uh, some circuits, we wrote Boolean expressions, and then we simplified them. And we did this for a number of circuits. Uh, go through these. Um, and then there are more uh, practice problems, and then there is the homework for your enjoyment.